Okay, right. Okay, we should be, bear with me one second. If you're watching this, you are now very used to me uh, looking confused. Uh, <laughs> Ryan Francis is live. All yay. Right. Oh, okay, brilliant. Perfect. Woo. Oh, yes, there we are. Let's get that. There we go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How Ooh. are we doing today? Welcome to day five spring clean challenge. How are you doing? Yes. Oh my goodness. It's been such a, it's been such a week for us. I've been really enjoying it. Um, and today, today we have an extra special guest yes. uh, because we are very lucky to be joined uh, by a very good friend of the uh, of the Confidence Through Cabaret podcast and uh, the podcast group and everything that we do with uh, with Confidence Through Cabaret. I'm just going to quickly put their information yes. into the chat. Okay. Well, just while you do that, thank you for everyone who's been sharing their experiences and been sharing, you know, their their realizations or their yes, uh, you know what what's coming up. Um, what's what are you struggling with or what are you yeah. realizing you know I think I think that's the thing is is it's more about what are you realizing rather than what are you struggling with it's like I'm mm. realizing that in order for me to want to shed the layers and and get into back into my exercise then it's about eating and so I'm starting to find layers and layers and layers yes and yeah I, um, and I'm I'm enjoying that people are you know, deep, have a deeper understanding of holding space, mm. have a deeper understanding of what the loops are, the, you yes. know, the negative loops and that negativity yeah. bias, and then saying, no, hold on. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Yeah, working really well on judgment, which is a, a, there's been such a focus this week. Yeah. And, you know, I feel like the theme is, and the key to all of this mm -hmm. is that we've been gentle with ourselves, that we're just working yeah. on hey, you know, what we can do. Hey, Brian, we're working on what we can do. We're taking it slowly. We're taking it step by step. We're not mm -hmm. judging it. We're yeah. just noticing it. And we're just sort of seeing what, what loops come up and mm -hmm. then what we need to do. And if you link that back to intention, then it allows you to recommit. So yeah. how are you feeling in the space? How are you, how are you doing? And you know what, if you're, if this is day one for you and we're on day five, that doesn't matter. No. You know, the videos are all still there. They're under guides. The workbook is there. It's under, under guide. Yeah. Um, but um, what I would say is if you're just joining us today, go back and, and think about the first question in the workbook, which is about intention. Yes. What is your intention in your spring cleaning? Because if you're, if you're following through with your intention, then you'll have a lot more connection to it. And then you can, you can follow along with the videos or along the workbook, whatever you like, as you go at your own pace, you know, there's no, there's no right or wrong to this day five doesn't have to be, you know, the first day or the last day, it can be the middle day. It doesn't matter. Jump in yeah. and out, jump around. Um, but it does kind of follow an order. Yeah. Well, we've, try, we've tried to be a little bit rational about this. And you know, uh, if you've been in the community for a while that we're not always that way. So we've really tried to do that. But just comment uh, about how do you feel in the space and how that's going and how's your action plan going? Um, how do you intend to follow through with that action plan? So um, are we ready with Anne? We I think we are. Anne? Let's bring in our wonderful guest, the fabulous Anne oh. Diamond. Yay. Right, here we go. We should be joined just only a second now. Can I just say that Anne has just been such an amazing, you know, friend to us because yeah. You know, she just said she was using tapping to clear space, and we went, "Hey, want to do it with us?" Yeah. And then, and then there you go. So this, this is all impromptu. Hey, hey, hey Anne, how are you doing? Hello, how are you doing? I'm just flitting between screens. Just... Uh, do not worry. We have uh, we have many a navigation uh, time <laughs> with, uh, with technology. I'm just going to call it navigation time oh. with technology. That's that's how we uh, that's how we do this. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Uh, sorry, I was I was on I was on phone. I was watching you live, and then I was flitting between the Zoom. So I'm, I'm okay. I'm here now. <laughs> Excellent. Hi, Anne. Do. How are Hi, you yeah. doing? Hi. So, Anne, do you want to just tell us a little bit about what you do? Because I know we've filmed a podcast with you, but the community won't have seen that yet. So I'd okay. love it if they could get to know you and and a little bit about your work. Uh, I do lots of things, but one of the things I do is EFT, which is Emotional Freedom Technique, and otherwise known as tapping. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's acupuncture without the needles. 
So it's a really gentle method that we can use to do pretty much what you've been doing all week. You know, I've been watching all this this all week. You've been setting intentions. You've been seeing the dirt. You've been clearing. You've been there. All that stuff we do. But as we say these things, we tap. Right. And it helps our brains. It's like a little dimmer switch. It helps our brains tune down the stress response to whatever we're talking about right. whilst we're talking about it so it's a gentler way of actually embedding all that stuff you're learning into your mind right it's such a really interesting practice we've uh, we've actually spoiler alert everybody we've actually got an amazing podcast coming out with uh, with Anne very soon uh, we should let people know as soon as it comes out um but we've uh, it was such a, an interesting conversation to be going through because i hadn't really heard much about um tapping until very recently um and it was uh, it was really interesting to kind of go through a bit of a process with it um spoiler alert everybody i had a very different appreciation of how tapping worked um <laughs> so much <laughs> we had nothing to do with that <laughs> at no point did i say that it meant that i should tap you yeah <laughs> so <laughs> so for those who uh who don't understand it and and don't see how how we could talk about clearing space with tapping would you mind just giving us a bit of a uh would you mind giving us a bit of a demo of how we could do that okay so um, where should we start? Should we start with um, your setting your intentions? Yes. So, that's um, okay. Yes. So and if you want to mute your mic, then the camera will stay on Anne. Oh, yes, that's right. Well, it's all technical. Okay. So um, it's a little bit like, remember that game um, Simon says when we were little? And basically, I say something and you repeat it. And I'll show you where to tap. So uh, tapping um, is really hard to get it wrong. Uh, we use the same acupressure points as acupuncture and it's just gentle tapping. So you can either do it with your fingertips or with the side of your hand. And we start on the side of the hand here. We call this karate chop point. And we set our setup statement. So uh, what should we say? So even though, what, what was your intention for the week? So mine was to uh, rid myself of limiting beliefs or control limiting beliefs. Yeah, and mine was okay. about not... So we might start over saying, mm -hmm. even though I have these limiting beliefs. Sorry. Well, we've frozen a little bit here. Is it me? I think you might be coming back. You're frozen, but we can hear you. Yes. Ah. Are the joys of technology. Oh, I know. Tell me about it. There sorry, we go. Sorry, Heather. Matt. You were saying your intention. What was your intention, Heather? My, my intention was about not judging myself for not doing, you know, not 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 doing things as quickly or as much as I wanted to. So why don't we? Why don't you? I mean, the the thing, the way that it's EFT works is is it can work two ways. It can work as as individual, but also you get the borrowing benefits from tapping it, seeing somebody else tap. It really works best when you say something that feels true to you. So if I say, even though I've had this, and then you say your intention, either out loud or to yourself, it'll work better for you. So um, I'll I'll say um, Ryan's one. Um, even though I've had this limiting belief, but you can say whatever you your belief was. Thank okay. You. And and then um, this is the this is the this is the thing that gets quite a lot of people because it might it might have come up after your day one is even though I've had this belief. I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, now if you're okay saying that, fine, but I'll just say accept myself and honor how I feel. That's as far as we'll go today. We don't wanna to go too hard, too hard, too fast, okay? Um, okay, so even though I've had this limiting belief, I deeply and completely uh, accept myself and honor how I feel. This is really hard because I can't hear you say anything. I think. <laughs> oh, we should now be able to have it um, have okay. voice without losing the focus. There we go. I see your lips moving. Okay, <laughs> so we'll do that three times. <laughs> Even though. Even though. Even though. I've had this limiting belief. I've had this limiting belief. I deeply and completely. I deeply and completely. Accept myself. Accept myself. And honor how I feel. And honor how I feel. I'll do it one more time. Even though. Even, Even though, though. I've had this limiting belief. I've had this limiting belief. I deeply and completely. I deeply and completely. Accept myself. Accept myself. And honour how I feel. And honour how I feel. 
now we see the dirt. So basically we just do a tapping round, excuse me, my voice is going. Mm -hmm. We do a tapping round, round our face and upper body, I'll show you the points. And we're just accepting that belief that you've you've had. So we're just saying, look, it's okay. I'm, I'm accepting this belief, but I'm, fa I'm safe and I'm calm, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're just seeing the dirt, okay? Mm -hmm. So this limiting belief, so just between your eyebrows there. This limiting belief. Mm -hmm. And then at the side of your eye gently, this limiting belief. This limiting belief. Mm -hmm. Under the eye, this limiting belief. This limiting belief. Mm -hmm. And under your nose, obviously COVID, you should have washed your hands, I should have said that. <laughs> this limiting belief. This limiting belief. Mm -hmm. And under your chin, well, mm -hmm. under your neck, this limiting belief. This limiting belief. Mm -hmm. And then on the collarbone here, yep. just there, this limiting belief. This, this limiting belief. belief. You can go for a gorilla, go, oh, <laughs> you know, this limiting belief. I do that with kids. <laughs> this limiting belief. Limiting belief. And then under the arms, for menopausal women, this could be a bit tricky, but it's limiting belief. It's limiting belief. Limiting belief. And then finally, on top of the head, just gently, just in tap around the circle, this limiting belief. It's limiting belief. Now, things might have come up for you when you've said you're thinking about this limiting belief. You're really focused on this limiting belief, so you're really getting a focus on that. And what we do is say, where in your body do you feel that? So when you're thinking about that limiting belief, where do you feel it? It's in my chest. Mm. It's in your chest. It's in my okay. back. It's in your back. Mm. So is it a tightness? How does it feel? Does it feel tight? Does it feel tense? Does it feel warm? Does it feel cold? It's just okay. tuning into that. Whatever comes up for you when you think about it. Yeah, so mine is like a pressure. Like yeah, pretty mine's pretty tense. tense. Yeah. Okay, so we'd carry on now by saying this pressure in my chest or whatever's best for you. It's in my back. Yeah, and then on the side of the eye, it's this pressure in my chest. And how is it feeling? You know, how, how does it feel? Feels constricting. Mm, yeah. It feels constricting. Yeah. It feels constricting. Feels constricting. How long have you had this for? All my adult Long time. Okay, so you talk about this. So I've had this, this pressure in my chest. I've had it for a long time. This pressure in my chest. I've had it for a long time. I've had this for a long time. And I'd like it to go. And I'd, I'd like it to go. What comes up when you say you'd like it to go? Small amount of panic. A small amount of panic. Okay. I feel this panic. So you say you've seen the dirt again now. You're peeling that layer away. So you've started with this limiting belief and you've noticed where it comes. And now you peel the next layer away because you're safe to see that. You're safe to see the panic. Okay? Yeah. So I, I feel some panic. I feel some panic. I feel some panic. Because it's been here for so long. Because, because it's been here for so long. And it's part of me. And it's part of me. It's what I know. It's what, what I know. So how can I let it go? So how can I let it go? What good is does it, is, does it do me keeping on to it? What does it do me keeping on to it? So you did this on day three, I think, didn't you? What's yeah. the benefit of yes, me keeping yeah. this? Absolutely. How is, how is this keeping me safe? How is this keeping, how me, is this keeping me safe? It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. I don't like having a tightness in my chest. I don't like having, don't like having this tightness in my back. So how does it feel to let it go? So how does it feel to let it go? Uh, Could I let it go? Could I let it go? So you're opening a possibility here now. You're introducing right. gently the possibility of letting this go. You've seen what it's costing you and you're choosing thinking about the possibility of letting it go. You're not saying you're going to, you're just saying, I'm open to the possibility. I'm open to the possibility. And what comes up for you when you do that? I feel like I can exhale. You feel like you can exhale, so you've released something then. Yeah. Okay. Something in my back just popped. <laughs> okay, so that's your energy moving. So if I let this go. If I let this go. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I'll have less pain. I'll have less pain. I'll have freer movement. I'll have freer movement. I'll be able to breathe. I'll be able to breathe. And think how good that'll be for me. I think how good that'll be. And think how good that'll be. So, choose and let this go right now. Choose and let this go right now. Choose and let this go right now. This limiting belief. This limiting belief. This tension. This tension. This tightness. This tightness. Letting it all go. Letting it all go. From every cell. From every cell. And every muscle in my body. 
mm. and every muscle in my body. And breathing and moving freely. And breathing and moving freely. Now take a deep breath. And just let go of anything you don't need. Oh. Ah. Now, think about the limiting belief you started with. Now, normally what we do is we'd score it on a scale of one to 10. So how strongly you feel it in your body. Okay, we didn't do that this time because it's a little demo. Right. Um, but then I'd score you afterwards. And right. how do you feel now? Right, right. Yeah, I'd say this has gone from about a seven to about a three. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. It's, uh, yeah, from like a, a seven to a five or four, I think. Yeah, right. and, and, and as you said in your, in your talks um, mm. during the week, some of these things have been there for years. You're yeah, not going to get yeah. rid of them immediately. It's yeah. about being gentle, but actually opening yourself to the possibility of doing that in a really simple, simple way. Yeah. Because you know, every time you see it, you say, okay. Yeah. You, you, you tune down the stress response to it and you're saying, okay, I can do this. Yeah. It might take you some time, but I can do it. Yeah. And, and you work through it layer by layer and gently. Yeah. And you can do, um, you can incorporate tapping into to almost every aspect of your life, can't you, as a, as a way of controlling uh, stress responses and things like that, right? Um, yeah. So I remember you saying you can, you know, just doing the, was it the karate chop uh, point yeah. you were sort of saying that's a great one for you know if you're stressed out at work and you can't do a full sort of cycle of things you could do just like a, a tap on the hand is that right you can do it under the table at meetings right. you can do it in in the car when you're yeah. stuck in traffic or you're a passenger or, or somebody's done something that's really frustrated you or annoyed you or, or right. you're stressed about something I do it before I go on stage before when I'm in the band I do it all the time or when I'm recording I do it as well yeah um, you know even though i'm anxious about doing this recording you know yeah yeah you can, visual, you can, do, you can incorporate visualizations so you can say you know I, I i i am now you know your affirmations you can say because that's that's basically tuning down your brain so you're open to rewiring reprogramming and um it's called memory reconsolidation um right it, yeah it's amazing our brains are so amazing yeah oh, they are such complex and amazing uh, creations aren't they yeah yeah yeah. yeah hey sarah hey sarah hey i love i i'm i'm interested that you know i was feeling it across my chest but now i've i'm i there was a release across the tops of my arms so it's actually a straight line which yeah you wouldn't normally because you, you normally go up and then down your arms but it's just gone a straight line so the tops of my arms are relaxed as well which is interesting so, yeah we call that chasing the pain we call it chasing the pain because if somebody, particularly say somebody who's got a long-term health condition, for example, maybe fibromyalgia or, or other long-term health condition that they've had for a long time, it's, it's affected every part of their body. Mm. So you can't clear that all at once. So you chase the pain. So you start with the most check, the most prominent one. So the one that's shouting the loudest, which you tune into first. And then as you peel away that, it shifts. Um, we've got this amazing, uh, well, when we tap, it's a mechanical, it's a mechanical action, isn't it? But that gets turned into an electrical signal to our brain. Right. And that taps into our, our vagus nerve, to our, our parasympathetic nervous system, the one that controls our breathing, oh. our heart rate and our smooth muscle. Yeah. And it also controls the, um, the fascia. Um, I'm right. not an meat eater, but you know when you get meat and you know that white stuff mm -hmm. that goes around the muscles, mm. that's our fascia, right? Yeah. And we've got that in every cell, around every cell and every muscle in our body, right? Yeah. And there is evidence to show that there are channels in that fascia that's, that, that, that um, allow um, fluids and electrical signals to flow. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. when we damage a muscle or we get tension and knots, it's in the fascia. So we're releasing, physically, literally physically <laughs> releasing those knots and, and letting our energy flow better. So when right. I say releasing from every cell and every nerve in our body, yeah, it's basically tapping into the vagus nerve and allowing those smooth muscles and the fascia to release. Right, right, so right, right. It's, it's physical. It's, it's our mind controlling our body physically. It's, I'm a scientist by training, so it's yeah. not woo-woo. It's not woo-woo. No, it's, no, it's, it's, no, uh, really. I've got two. Yeah. I've got two science degrees, so I, I, no, I, don't, I wouldn't take this just lightly, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's I actually watched. Um, uh, we were Heather was laughing at the other day because I did. Um, I watched a thing about sort of fascia uh, moving, like uh, what's it called, like the fascia scrape. 
So yeah. when they kind of like, you know, sort of smooth it out across the body. And my neck's been playing up really badly recently. So I did this kind of, um, I did one of the fascia scrapes and it looked like I'd had, the <laughs> I fully had like what looked like love bites all down the side of my neck, which was very difficult to explain. Um, <laughs> it was tap instead. It'd be much, much less, less marked. Right, far less aggressive. Well, I mean, I do te- I do te- I've started doing Qigong um, with a guy called Brian Simpson, who's brilliant, um, right. through Shamash Shaladino, who does meditation, is brilliant. Right. Um, I've started doing Qigong on a Sunday morning. Brian's got a thick Glaswegian accent, it's brilliant. Have you ever thought of the contrast between relaxing to Qigong and a Glaswegian saying it? It's, it's amazing. Oh, I love that. Hilarious. Um, but he does a Qigong, like a self-massage as part of that, and that literally yeah. is the same. It's tapping into acupressure points, so right. he taps all around the eyes. And, yeah. he, and he does the sinuses, and he right. he does that. Uh, what's that? What's that? Jamie and the magic torch. He used to rub his sort of. Do no, you remember oh, that TV right, show? Right, yeah. right. Well, he does that, and he also does the ears as well, which are acupressure points. We don't tap, but uh, the one thing he does is this. Uh, that, okay. You know, you get these little gadgets, don't you? That go like that. The little yes, umbrella. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. yeah. Just do that with your hand. You can just do that gently. You know. Uh, okay. And children mm-hmm. self-soothe when they suck their thumb, they rub that bit under their nose. Yeah, you know, yeah. We, we do it without realising it. Right. So, you know, it's... Yeah. Oh, it's such an interesting practice. It really is. I mean, I do immediately feel a lot more calm and relaxed after after doing just that that short session. Um, it, it is like a, like the, the second afterwards, it was taking me a minute to get my brain back into gear because I was like, oh, I'm actually quite just... No, I could just sit here now. I'm quite comfortable. <laughs> the one, the one um, you said about doing it anywhere, the one thing that I, the magic thing I discovered, I used to be quite a stressful driver. I mean, I lived in Scotland for like 20 years and there's 5 million people in the whole of Scotland, so you don't get traffic jams. I mean, the M8 gets a little bit busy, but <laughs> sure, if sure. you come down to the M25 or the M5, that's traffic, yeah? Right, so, right. You know, when I moved down here eight years ago um, from Scotland, I used to get really stressed because I was doing a lot of travelling for my work and, you know, travelling cars. And, you can tap on your fingers so the little the side of your thumb right and then you do the same on the sides of every other finger that they're acupressure points too yeah is that the inside of there yeah just just that's the inside can you see yeah the inside yeah so you can tap so you can do it like that so if you're you're driving you can just tap so you use your, your first finger to tap on the side of your thumb and you use your thumb to tap on the rest of the inside of your fingers right so if you're stuck in traffic or you're late for a meeting or something you can just tap and just say you know even though i'm late it's okay i'm feeling calm right. or we know that idiot just cut me up it's okay it's okay my car's safe i'm safe I'm calm and oh, you know you tap. Nice. so that sort of thing is so useful because it's just a quick instant reset isn't it so you were saying bringing yourself back to thinking about your garden letting it nurture it's just, yeah. just resetting and just reaffirming your intentions mm. I love that you in it, that you took us through not just like even though I feel this now I don't want to feel this but that yeah. kind of introduce it so acknowledging it mm-hmm. and then and then introducing the possibility oh yeah that's overwhelming right mm. so we did so just 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 to just to be clear we did the acknowledging it even though mm-hmm. I'm feeling see the dirt thing. yeah and then and then we did belief yeah like as in it's you know i'm introducing the possibility that it could be a good thing to let go of yeah yeah that's um that's called the choices method the lady called patricia carrington introduced that to the eft um sort of system and and it's basically for people who've got such embedded beliefs that they, they, they it's moving you from your comfort zone to the growth the fear zone yeah it's moving you out of your comfort zone to saying okay it's something I might consider, but I'm not ready to yet. And it's right. it's 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 putting that little toe in the water and saying, yeah, this could benefit me. But then we did the cost benefit, didn't we? We said, what's it costing me to keep on to this right. system? And what could I benefit from actually going there, but I'm not quite ready to yet. Right. So it's it's getting your brain, your sort of safety system. See? Yeah. Yeah, but I could choose to consider it. I could choose to move towards that. Right. Yeah. That, yeah, very similar to what we were talking about yesterday with, you know, how we put our, how we choose to reflect our energy into certain specific ways and breaking habits and making new ones is, is about often that change of focus, shifting away from a negativity bias and into something that will serve us great, into a, a much more greater degree. Um, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, well, where attention goes, energy flows, doesn't it? So it's where we put our attention. Mm, and, really? you know, the, I, yeah. I think it's Hobbes law or Hebb's law. I can't remember exactly. I'm, I'm menopausal brain here. I don't remember everything. But um, it, there's a neuroscientist who basically showed that you do, um, it's a bit of a dodgy experiment because you did run electricity um, through neurons oh, in, in a lab. Right. Yeah, but basically, if you generate signals through neurons, for just as simple as, as just as um a, a, as little as an hour, so right. thinking about things, yeah, you can rewire them so they fuse together to form a new neural network. That's right. neuroplasticity in action. So right. if you think about it, if you're focusing on your intentions or or releasing something for long enough, mm. you can re reprogram your brain. So right, yeah, wow, beautiful. Beautiful. So um, just one question, because I know some people in the community are looking for mm. more like physical addiction, such mm. as um, smoking or drinking or food or, mm. or even gathering physical items. Oh, Does yeah. it work the same way with, um, you know, kind of releasing those those habits as well? Yes. And um, if anyone wants to look up Dr. Peter Stapleton, she's an Australian psychologist. She's she's been groundbreaking. She's been doing a lot. She did a lot. She's made her sort of name in EFT through doing research on food addiction. Wow. Um, and she um, used EFT, clinical EFT, which is what we've just done that, that round, mm. um, um, combined with MRI scanning images of people's brains before and after EFT sessions. Wow. And um yeah, it's it's incredible the results she's she's been getting, and you know it's it's demonstrating that reprogramming because the 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 reward centers that light up in your brain when you think of the cig the, the cigarettes or the the food and the alcohol, you know obviously they're picked up on an MRI machine, mm -hmm. and um she she they scan them before and after doing the EFT sessions, yeah. and afterwards those centers didn't light up when they were shown these things. And okay. and in fact, she showed shared a story saying there was one lady who basically was was had a problem with eating chocolate. She had a problem addiction to to overeating, and chocolate was her poison, as as mm. twere. And she followed up with her a year after the treatment, and she completely forgotten she liked chocolate. Wow! Because it just wasn't a thing to her anymore. But yeah. the, the the way the way to do it with the EFT is what we've just done a gentle way. It's not about I want to stop smoking or I want to stop drinking alcohol. It's what is it costing me to continue doing this? Right. why am I doing it how does it make me feel when I do it mm -hmm. and then how you know from a point of loving yourself it's about what do I want what what is best for me and my body mm -hmm. you have to want to do it from a point of give, you know being good to yourself rather than I must stop smoking because I have to right yeah, yeah. yeah. and then you have goal setting period is yeah precisely it, so towards rather than away from away yeah, yeah. so you're yeah. setting the intentions and then you know there could be reasons why you have to go back to the, and this is the thing it's the We've got the tree thing in the background the leaves the smoking the drinking the alcohol addiction are the leaves it's what we see it's the behaviors right. that we see the tree the, the the branches and the trunk and the roots are the reasons behind that behavior so right. there could be underlying reasons from your past mm -hmm. that have have it's it, uh, that are, are causing you to feel that that's the, the course of action you want to take right now right right it's harming you even though you're new in your relationships or, or whatever you choose to continue doing that behavior because that's what you feel keeps you safe right so right you see what i mean right. so yeah. it's getting back to the core root why you do that why when you started that and how how it made you feel when you started doing it because obviously you're doing that because you feel that's what's keeping you safe right now hmm. right so then you stop the let's say the drinking or smoking or eating and then, and then, as you peel it back, as you continue to tap, are, are you saying that then you 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 find root cause? Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, if, if you're trying to stop something, you've got guilt and shame about doing that. So it's going back to when you started doing that and why you started doing that. So it's releasing that guilt and shame about why you started that or when you started that. It could be to you know, quite a lot of the time, people drink and 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 self medicate with with drugs and alcohol because they're kind of trying to mask pain in some way or, or guilt or shame from, from something that happened in the past so it's about being gentle with yourself and trying to get back to that in a safe and supportive way mm. rather than shaming yourself saying i'll have to stop this because it's it's, it's not good you know what i mean it's, right, it's getting right. back and being gentle and knowing why you started it or or you could just say simply i, I want to stop doing this because i love myself and stop doing it but it's up to the individual and everyone's got their own reasons so mm. it's, it's, getting, it's getting releasing the judgment it's releasing the freeing yourself from the judgment 
Mm -hmm. and the shame and the guilt about doing it. Uh, You've just been talking about all week, haven't you? So exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So how oh. how long would we do this for? Like how 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 long? I guess in a session, and how often a session, and how long would we do this for? Because you're saying a year later, somebody's forgotten that they've that they mm -hmm. liked chocolate. So yeah. Um, and so okay. So I'm not insinuating that this is a quick fix because I know it is not. Yeah. It but. depends completely entirely on on the on the on the issue you're trying to clear. Obviously, um, if the for example, um, they did some trial, um, they did some trials in Rwanda with the victims of the genocide there. Some young child, young people who had witnessed the genocide in Rwanda who mm. scored highly on the PTSD scale. They're obviously mm. clinically PTSD, and they went in there to work with these young people, um, and they did one session with them, one hour session with them. And after just one hour, they no longer rated on the PTSD scale. Wow. Now, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that from point of view, it's a miracle cure, but that, I'm just sure. saying that's how effective it can be. They had intended to do three sessions with these young people, but um, they had the, 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 they, the funding got pulled or something, they got pulled away, but they only managed to do one and they went back and followed up and yeah. they were still below the PTSD scale right. a year, you know, when they went back. So it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a long, it's, a, it's lasting because right. you say you, you're going to the core of it and you actually, you know, a, a lot of talking therapies are great when you're doing them, but Maybe they I don't know. last because they, it's reliant on that interaction with the therapist. Whereas this yeah. is something that you're doing from internal. It's not, it's not reliant on. Yeah. yeah. So on would you, so would, the, the practitioner guides you through it. Mm. So, and I guess you can just top up, you know, every once in a while. So if I was working with you and we, we solve whatever I wanted to, then we could just do like a check-in every so often. And unfortunately, yeah. I mean, basically we're complex beings, aren't we? And um, we ain't got, we're, we don't normally have just one issue to clear. <laughs> so um, <laughs> we do, we do, a, we do actually do a, you can do a personal peace procedure as well, where you can basically just list stuff you want to get rid of and work through it gradually so i normally i would recommend one to three sessions to sure. start off with okay. and then obviously if it's a more complex issue you may need more but you know yeah. um, sometimes once you've cleared the big stuff you can clear the rest yourself so amazing Beautiful. no Beautiful. a very good point as well thank you so much for sharing this yes. and it's so it's just such a such a beautiful practice anyway but it's just so related to you know what what lots of us have been going through this week and just mm. you know gently opening up to and starting to clear some of the space so it's so appreciate you jumping on with us I, I love I've loved I love talking about it I'm so passionate about it and uh, I think it's been great what you've been doing I've been looking for your workbook and thinking oh yeah I've got a few things to clear I say I've had a really bad ear infection this week and I've yes. had to force myself because obviously that's my body telling me you need to lie down for 20 minutes it's like okay I will yeah right. yeah <laughs> absolutely yeah. it's just fully sort of saying no 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 time to lie down now <laughs> yeah, that's it. yeah yeah and you can override that but it, yeah. it'll come back to bite you because it'll yeah. only get worse yes, yeah, so. yeah that, that, that's you know when you said about your chest feeling tight you know that's been there for a while hasn't it and that's your body saying hey i need you to hear me i need you to listen to me i need you to hear me you know there's something going on here i need you to listen yeah you know, how absolutely. else can i tell you that you need to hear me yeah yeah Oh my so goodness. then where can people find you if they wanted to, to get more involved in, in EFT? With I'm on Facebook with EFT, so it's Creative Leader EFT on Facebook. Um, drop that link in right yeah, now. Also, yeah. none is in our community, so you can always, you know, comment um, here and then and then kind of you're off into into your own conversation um, with Anne as well so so um so it's just such a beautiful practice and I think there'll be a lot of people that'll say oh I'd like to know a little bit more about that or I'd like to to be guided through something or, or whatever so yes, so thank you. Yeah. I, one, one thing I, I've loved actually I've only been doing this for about three years and one thing I've loved um there's a video on my on my page from one of my former clients um who set up her own singing academy and she she came to me with stage fright bless her and, and she's got such a beautiful voice and she was so anxious about it, people because she was doing a songwriting MA and she right. was so anxious about people are judging her work and assessing her work mm. and we worked through it and and she set up her own singing academy now so it's like wow. it's amazing it's so lovely to see those stories because it's so similar she did all the work but it's like it's beautiful and I just that's why I love it so much it's it's amazing so oh, wow yeah. that's great 
That is uh -huh. fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us, Anne. Thank, Thank you. It's been such a pleasure. And, and look we'll after yourself. You yeah, you too. Yeah. <laughs> Take you. care of yourself, Anne. Bye. 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 Oh, how oh, much that was an honor is that? That was really great. Um, and literally, I've just put the um the the links to Anne's practice yeah. into the chat. So please do make sure you go and hit um hit Anne up because there's some there's it, that was a really interesting uh session. I really benefit from uh, from from what Anne said before in uh, in well to us before on our podcast that you'll hear eventually. Aha. Uh -huh. Um. <laughs> But yes, I think it, it, she's right. It really does resonate with what we've been talking about this week uh, of holding stress, releasing tension, releasing what doesn't serve us. You know, the whole, when we started Confidence Through Cabaret, we wanted people mm. to be able to access various tools. Yes. And obviously, Ryan and I don't have all of those tools. Mm -hmm. um, we, can, we can give you our experience. We can do things together. Our, our yeah. whole point was to support and uplift. And I think, you know, if, if we can if we can you know share with each other what works for you and yes. you know, or, or or even what's not working for you we'll be able to figure it out together that's kind of the point of a community right very much so um, yeah very much so and we never were setting it up as you know everybody come in and pile in and and sell yeah. their stuff it was more no. about let's just share our talents yeah. and i love that ann said yeah this i do this through tapping and then yeah. and then here we were yeah, exactly. So, thank you again, Anne. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, just to round round off and and you know, kind of um, follow along with with our workbook. If you're playing mm -hmm. the home game, yes, um, is just to recommit to your intentions, recommit to your action plan, and just really notice how do you feel in that space. Yes. And whether you choose to share that with the community or not, obviously it would be great if you did because other people say, "Yeah, me too," and yeah. that's always uh, you know a, a a helpful kind of yeah. way of, of moving forward it also lets us know what you appreciate or what you want or what yeah. you want more of or what we didn't yeah. do that you wanted more of but and we've how been do you having feel? really great um uh, really great back and forth with with people in the community on the past few days um with some with independent shares onto the community or um as part of these live videos thank you sarah we love having you here i was um, literally just typing that <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, it's it's been really interesting. Um, I mean, I definitely have empathized with a number of things that have been brought up uh, oh, yeah. by the various members of this community. And it's been really interesting to have quite honest discussions about how those things are affecting us. Yeah, yeah, it has. And I think, so thank you all for sharing um, or thank you all for participating, even if you yeah. didn't go on and share, or even if this yeah. is your first day of this and, and that's, that's great, but thank you for being here. Um, so, so follow through with your action plan. We talked about a little bit about action plans yesterday. Just want to reemphasize something that we said a few moments ago with Anne, which is the, is, which is about our brains are meant naturally goal seeking. So working towards something yeah. is far more powerful than working away from something. Yes. So I'm working towards that energy that that will um, you know is carry me through yeah. getting back into exercise, or I'm working towards feeling more space or mm -hmm. or clearing space rather than getting rid of or i don't want or yes. you know if we're clearing space then what do we want instead we want yeah. spaciousness or we yeah. want i don't know whatever your your language would be but but make sure that when you're phrasing your actions that you're thinking about i'm not going to do this so i'm going to do this instead you know yeah. i'm not gonna i don't care um i'm not gonna uh fill up the shelves that i've finally managed to clear mm -hmm. uh, but what i'm going to do is enjoy the space instead so focusing on on those i'm not going to eat the yeah. junk i'm going to focus on feeling good in my body with exactly. more energy or filling it with with healthier things yeah um, yes yeah, so right, um, rather than giving up something you know yeah and what has been what have been during the the course of this challenge what have been the things that have lit your fire what has inspired you what has excited you or connected with you specifically during this point if you choose to focus that way then you have a much stronger affinity with what you're going to to then move forward with yeah. so you know really do think about you know what's inspired you what's what's come out of this that's made you feel amazing so not as as you've just said you know not um not well this didn't work or i didn't feel comfortable with this particular thing or i didn't enjoy that but what yeah. did you enjoy what yes. did you find that focus on what was inspiring to you and what continues to inspire you because if you can follow that thread yeah 
Um, I just want to pick up on something that Sarah's saying here about can we discuss our harder moments? Yes, absolutely. Oh, this, is do. Not, this is not this is not only about, you know, it's all wonderful. This isn't this isn't Disney. Um, you know, we're yeah. we're allowed to be human, we're allowed to talk about you know what what we what we recognize in ourselves we're allowed to talk about what we're struggling with and we're allowed to support others you know carefully without imposing on yep. uh, but just you know just support is is so important for us all and we all have different times when we need it yeah so um just coming back to your um your action plan and stated in the positive or what you're working towards um it's worthwhile acknowledging early on what you do with setbacks and yesterday we talked about our old habits creeping in um but if you do have setbacks then how do you plan to refocus yourself how do you plan maybe it's through reconnecting with your intentions yeah. maybe it's through having a backup plan maybe it's through saying on here oh hell i was doing something and now it's not working again you know, and then we can we can reignite it. Maybe it's through going back and looking at the the videos or the section of the videos that were were most relevant for you, or going back into the workbook and looking at what you answered and re-answering. It might be a different answer now. So how do you plan to manage setbacks? And if you build that into your action plan, then you're much more likely to be successful with your action plan. And then, as Ryan said recognize what lights your fire recognizing what what goes well and what gives you energy so that the, those times when we're set back it's like an, it's like we we talk about emotional bank account a lot um when i work with businesses and it's really just about you know you you can't you you, you can't sustain deficit mm. so you need to have those that input to make yourself have a healthy balance yeah and once you have that healthy balance then if there are setbacks if there are um withdrawals then that's fine because you've got a healthy bank account when you go overdrawn that's acceptable that's fine but then how do you recover from that and that's yeah. where planning in what your setbacks um might be um or or th that you dread or whatever it is and then how will you deal with those mm -hmm. and then you can deal with them in a less emotional way because they're not happening to you right now they're just kind of like a contingency plan yes and then and then that's where what what ryan was just talking about with what late your fire will be the things that you can engage with that will be nice little deposits again yes absolutely yeah. so last but not least so we have the inspired list as your task Last but not least is to check in with yourself. And I would invite you to do this throughout the whole season. Um, what does your garden need? And the reason I say the whole season is because this season now takes us till about, about June. It must oh, yes. be about June. Yeah. Um, for summer, it might even be, I'm not sure of the exact summer start date, but if you think we started this in March, April, May, June, that's three months. If you do, what does your garden need each day? Mm -hmm. By the time we get to summer, that will be second nature. You'll check in with yourself and go, what do I need? So, so make this your hobby throughout spring. Um, what does your garden need today? I need more water for sure. Oh, um, same, hard same today. I, I also, because I started my exercise yesterday, I also need to get physically moving today, whether that's through some sort of stretch or exertion. So I will do that uh, a little bit later on today for sure. Because, yes. I, and I love that I started this going, oh good, I have a new rescue puppy. So now we don't have to exercise, yay. <laughs> and now I'm like, oh, now my garden needs exercise. Yes. How cool is that? Absolutely, absolutely. It's really awesome. It is really wonderful. Um, no, I'm, I'm definitely feeling the benefit of this to, for, for myself. Um, I'm definitely feeling more rested in the more Actually, you know, we were talking yesterday about what do we, what do we need? And part of that thing was, I need to sleep and you said that you felt the same last night i managed to get myself an early night and i was able to have like a really nice uninterrupted night's sleep and it was it's been massively beneficial to me i felt amazing this morning when i got up yeah. so yeah. it's been wonderful oh that's amazing that is amazing because we've been doing a, a lot later in the evening than we're supposed yeah. to with our watch parties <laughs> this is fun because i feel connected exactly um, I, I was going to wrap this up, but I, I I don't want to ignore um, the the share in the in the comments here. So, um, so Sarah, we love having you here. We love we love we love our community. Um, and uh, saying you wish it was Disney. Okay, so I had to be a little bit careful here because Disney for many years was one of my very big clients. Right. Um, and but what I can tell you is that what is on stage, mm -hmm. in Disney is not the same thing as what's backstage. Yes. 
as you can imagine. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to say anymore. But, um, but what I will say is that um, if we always live with the on stage, mm -hmm. and if we always live with the, yay, it's a parade and it's a sunny day, even when it's raining and it's wonderful, you know, and, and, and nothing's wrong. Mm -hmm. I did that for decades. Yeah, it does not work. It doesn't work. No. And at some point, there will yeah, be sorry. a house of cards and the whole thing will come down. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I get, I wish it was Disney too, because, you know, love Space Mountain, etc., and Small World, and all of those mm -hmm. things. And I would love to be in Disney right now. But we, but um, if you use that as an, <clears throat> excuse me, if you use that as an analogy to our life, yes, yeah. we have to deal with the backstage stuff too. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, um, and, and setbacks can end up crashing us. Mm -hmm. So it's fantastic that you have the resilience, Sarah, that mm -hmm. you don't crash for long. And that's where the, the things that light your fire, the things that give you energy, the deposits yeah. in your emotional bank account, those are the things that help you get back up. Yeah. <clears throat> but it can be difficult to get back up. Yes. And what I have done um, that's gotten me through some very hard times yeah. is when it's not hard times, I make a list of the things that light your fire. Yeah. As we've said here, your inspired list, or even a list of the support that I have, the friends that I could call, the mm -hmm. places that I can go to where I feel good or I feel supported or I can just feel anonymous and they won't ask me any questions. I mean, I have some yeah. of those friends too that just go, oh, you're here. Okay. Don't ask questions. Yeah. But, you know, so I like to make a list of those those support places where I can go. And then when I am off track, mm -hmm. then I can go back to that list because I can't think of that list at the time when I'm off sure. track. Yeah. I, I need no. it later. <clears throat> yeah, so, you've got to be so, in the right space to 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 receive that information for yourself. And you will know when that time is because you'll start mm -hmm. seeking it out. Absolutely. And then you get better at recognizing the, the trigger warnings hmm. and, and those loops. And then you can yeah. start to interrupt some of those. Yeah. And when you can't, then you have the support network here. And yeah. that's what we wanted for Confidence Through Cabaret to be supporting and uplifting confidence, whether yes. it's your personal life, your work life, or your stage life. It's important. Absolutely. Yeah. Like your backup group. Exactly, Sarah. So thank you for sharing yes. that. And yes, exactly. Share. Like the backup group. Community. Um, yes. Uh, there for you and 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 we're not the only members of the community obviously so we're all in this together and it's a work in progress um i was on clubhouse this morning with the beautiful saru and 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 nasma and i i they were talking about their work and they were saying oh you're never done it's never like oh i've solved this so that's it now no more problems yeah and i thought well i knew that but i did not need to hear that <laughs> I did not need to hear this this dose of reality on this very day, on this day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what came up for me, and so mm -hmm. I'll share it here because Clubhouse is, of course, not recorded. Sure. Um, what came up for me, and and I and I think it's kind of uh, um, connected with Saru to to do some work on this. It was the 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 fact that you know we we're never taught that pain is or discomfort isn't a bad thing it's just right. a thing right so what i learned is pain is bad feeling good is good and so i look for more of the feeling good and i avoid the pain right mm -hmm. and i've avoided the pain through my entire adult life and probably most of my adolescence as well and then what happens is that all comes up it's mm -hmm. like a bad hangover it just all flows so so i would say you know um maybe play with how we process pain it's a bit like the rain yesterday we were talking about that and i think right. it, i've forgotten whether it was anastasia i think it was maybe uh was talking about you know the rain and being caught in the rain and you can say oh this is terrible or you can say okay we're doing rain yeah yeah in the car we're doing traffic and that's yeah. that's it and yes it's like your gps and i think absolutely you know um you know just just consider maybe play with um you know go back over the the video and look at ants and say you know what um, maybe i could do some tapping around that because i don't want to see pain as a bad thing mm -hmm. and i think that's what i was saying when i started this challenge without knowing it is yeah. that I, I judge that yes very much so i know exactly what you mean 
Yeah. How great would it be if we were children and we were taught that, okay, this is discomfort and that's how that feels. And this is pleasure. And that's how that feels without measure and without a good and a bad or a, yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. We have to put all these judgments onto different things and that, that really does inform the mindset. I also absolutely love uh, that, that uh, saying that you've just put in there, Sarah, true, um, different levels, different devils. I think that's very interesting. Yeah. 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 Very poignant. So oh. thank you for being here with us for our yes. challenge. Thank you for being here with for your challenge. Yes, and for sharing involved. with us and for, for taking part. I've actually just posted the task in the day um, in the group for you, uh, for you all to, to, to see as well. So it's in the group, it's in the guide. And of course you have all these videos that you can go over at any time. Yes, now I'll just end with Sarah's, Sarah's beautiful thought here. If we're taught that if we don't feel good, there's something wrong with us. There Absolutely. Is wrong with us. We are deserving. Mm -hmm. We are worthy. You are deserving. Yes. You are worthy. And you know what? It, it, you know, play with that word wrong because that's not always a bad thing either. You know, mm -hmm. that's where we learn and that's where we grow. Yeah. And just to finish with a garden analogy when you're green, you grow, and when you're ripe, you rot. Absolutely. Oh, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us today. And don't forget, this has been Confidence Through Cabaret, day five of the Spring Clean Challenge, reminding you that it is your body, body. your world, your, your stage. stage. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Goodbye.